Happy Ingenious Day! We are Stratec Institute. Today's video is concerned with the history of structural engineering and the crucial structural engineers who make the difference in this field. Don't forget to subscribe. The structural engineering is a subdiscipline of civil engineering in which structural engineers are trained to design bones and muscles that create the form and shape of man-made structures. Structural engineers also must understand and calculate the stability, strength, rigidity and earthquake susceptibility of bridge structures for building and unbuilding structures. The structural design is integrated with those of other designers such as architects and building services engineers and often provides the construction of projects by contractors on the site. They can also be involved in the design of machinery, medical equipment and vehicles where structural integrity affects the functioning and safety. Let's see the grocery of structural engineering by means of structures. One of the structures which is a historical achievement of structural engineering is EFL Tower. Structural designer of this structure which is considered as the achievement of structural engineering is Maurice Cocherny, the French structural engineer. Let's go to another example of structure, which is the achievement of structural engineering, Burj Khalifa. This is the tallest man-made structure in this world. It is constructed by using structural system which is buttressed structural system. Apart from this structural system conducted in order to construct this structure, the structural design of this building is Bill Baker, the American structural engineer. Structural engineering theory is based upon applied physical rules and empirical knowledge of the structural performance of different materials and geometries. Also, structural engineering design uses a number of relatively simple structural concepts to breed complex structural systems. Structural engineers are responsible for making creative and efficient use of funds, structural elements and material to achieve their goals. History of Structural Engineering Structural Engineering dates back to 2700 BCE when the step pyramid for Pharaoh Joseph was built by Imhotep, the first engineer in history known by name. Pyramids were the most common major structures built by ancient civilizations. Because the structural form of a pyramid is inherently stable and can be almost infinitely scaled, as opposite to the most other structural forms, which cannot be linearly increased in size in proportion to increased roads. The structural stability of the pyramid is gained from its shape. Rise also the strength of the stone from which it is constructed and its ability to support the weight of the stone above it. The limestone blocks were often taken from a quarry near the building site and have compressive strength from 30 to 250 megapascal. Therefore, the structural strength of the pyramid stems from the material property of the stones from which it was built rather than the pyramid's geometry. No record exists of the first calculation of the strength of structural members or the behavior of structural material. By the profession of structural engineer, on really took shape with the industrial revolution and the reinvention of concrete. Here you can see the history of concrete, not to make it very clearly. The physical science and ring structural engineering began to be understood in the Renaissance and they have since developed into computer-based application pioneered in 1970. Genius and his contribution to the structural engineering. In 2020, Thierry Imbaza introduced the HIM formula which is the straightforward method for computing angles for incranite structures such as ramps, roofs, stairs, etc. Apart from this formula, Siri Himbaza is a and famous structural designer. Let's go to the another genius, Carillo Roberto Castigliano. In 1873, Carillo Roberto Castigliano presented his dissertation which contained his theorem for computing displacement as the partial derivative of strain energy. This theorem includes the method of risk to work as special case.